Greetings, Twin Flames. This is Lucida of Twin Flame RX, and I'm here on Sunday, June 25th, 2017, to bring you the weekly reading from this time period until Saturday, July 1st, 2017, for all Twin Flames. So this is a general reading, and it is for all Twin Flames, no matter what stage they're at in this Twin Flame journey. So just take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest. If you like the video and reading, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel. I do videos almost on a daily basis. So there's always some great content that you might want to check out. So click on the little bell to get notified whenever I post a video. Thanks to those that follow us on Twitter for daily cards for inspiration, Pinterest, also on Facebook and those that have come to me in private sessions. I had a lot of sessions earlier today, just chat sessions with individuals about their twin flames and have done heart to hearts, which are telepathic conversations between you and your beloved. So I've been very busy today and the energies are good. We're coming out of the summer solstice and new moon gateways. So a very exciting time for twins. In this upcoming week, we're going to be entering the month of July. So we want to see what's ahead for us. So I'm asking God, Source, Universe to give us the messages that we need. I'm using the Revelations to Roll by Zach Wong to get the overall situation that should be playing out within the next week for our beloveds and between us and our beloveds. If you'd like a private video option, that option's also available in the description box below. Wow, so we have the Nine of Cups as the overall energy for this upcoming week. In the Rider Waits Row, this is, um, it looks a little different. The images in this deck are a lot more, I guess, um, futuristic type images, I would say. Um, but either way, what the Nine of Cups means is wishes coming true. So this will be a week where some of your wishes, hopefully all of them, that you have made, and you can make a wish now, actually, because this card indicates that if you receive this and you don't have a wish in mind, that you should make a wish. So let's take a moment to make a wish for this upcoming week. Okay, so I wish something for myself and for the collective. Now let's get started with the reading. So I've already cut the card deck, um, and this is the situation card, which is the star. So in this week, what we're going to be experiencing is illumination. So that means that we are realizing our rebirth as spiritual beings, that we have you know, new inspirations for our journey. So we see this maiden surrounded by lots of stars and spirits, birds. And so this is a, a week basically that we will be very inspired to move forward on this journey. So that would be you, your beloved. This energy is for all twin flames, no matter if they're divine feminine or masculine. What we have here as either the obstacle or something that can propel us forward toward that goal of being fully illuminated, awakened, inspired is the Eight of Wands here. So the Eight of Wands is a very, in this case, positive energy. It's a balanced energy. It's a passionate energy. So whether we're passionate in a positive way toward our beloved in the journey or whether we're passionate in a more negative way, full of anger and hurt and disappointment, you can choose optimism and that's what's going to bring you into that more enlightened or illumined state. The crowning energy here is the five of wands. So this energy is that of possible competition. So this could be a competition that you're having a battle in your own mind and heart as to what to do next and how to move forward on the journey. It could also mean that you're battling, you know, your own demons or your beloved is battling their own demons or there is a battle of the wits going on between yourself and your beloved or there's that energetic struggle that's going on between you and your beloved. But the thing is, if you are successful in balancing out your own energies, 
then it'll be easier for you to come into harmonious energetic balance with your beloved as well. So think of that as something that can help you to understand the energies of this upcoming week. So if you keep yourself balanced, that's one of the keys to having a harmonious 5D connection and or 3D connection with your beloved twin flame. And what you have to work with here is the Ace of Pentacles. So the Aces are always new beginnings. So this is a new beginning in a more physical, tangible way. So it could be a new beginning with your beloved, your twin flame. Like you could be in a new stage of communication with them or a new stage in your relationship. Whatever this new beginning is for you, maybe just reopening communication either in the 5D, like telepathically or through dreams, or you enhancing your own connection with them by using meditation and prayer, or you reaching out to them or them reaching out to you, whatever it is, this new beginning is what's going to propel you forward on this journey into union with yourself, into union with your beloved, and into th both multidimensional and third dimensional physical union with your beloved on this earth. In the recent past, we have an energy of the Two of Cups. So both beloveds have been feeling the love. So this is a card of union between the two beloveds. The cups symbolize that love and it's a shared love. So, you know, if you haven't felt it yet, breathe into that love, go into your heart and feel the love that you feel for your beloved. Send them love. They will return that love energetically. That's what's going to stimulate this week to be a great one for manifesting your harmonious union your perfect union with your beloved in the near future we are going to have some indecision coming up with the two of swords here kind of walking a tightrope not knowing what to do exactly but ask your higher self ask god or source or the universe or the archangels whoever you resonate with your higher power to help you to make the right move when you feel that stuckness or that indecision how you are feeling or how your beloved is feeling really because this could be either about you your beloved or both of you together is this energy of the hierophant you're having trouble getting it into focus but what this energy is is an energy of mastery so it's the energy of being a spiritual master so you're feeling more and more that you are mastering some aspects of this journey. So that gives you confidence in other people. They see you as the empress. So that outward appearance of you or that outward, basically how you feel about yourself is translating into the world that you are seen as the empress, that you have it all, that you have your empire, that you are the master of your domain, like you can control your thoughts, feelings, words, and actions, that you are very spiritually gifted. That's a great energy, okay? That's how others see you. And what you're like hoping for is the truth, the truth to come out. That's what the Ace of Swords means. It also means victory. So the Ace, again, is a new beginning. So you're hoping that when the truth comes out, when your beloved realizes who you really are, and I believe this to be happening for so many twin flames at this time when your beloved realizes who you really are, that truth is going to set you both free. So you're hoping that this week is the week. And remember, if it's not this week, it might be whenever you watch the video, could be within the next month, but this is going to happen for many, many twins. We also have the outcome of the hermit. So this does not mean that you're not going to be, you know, spending any time or seeing or hearing from or communicating with or not feeling that 5D connection because that's been going on for some with your beloved. What it does mean is that all of this energy that's going on is here for you to internalize and to seek the answers inside of yourself. So union will come when you know and love yourself. When you have that union with yourself, that is when the true union can manifest between yourself and your divine counterpart in both the fifth and the third dimension, in all dimensions, time, spaces, and realities. So I also, before starting the reading, have pulled cards divinely led by spirit for the divine masculine and feminine twin and then for their union. So the divine masculine twin wants to let their counterpart know so this is their higher self speaking with the talking to heaven Doreen virtue card. You are never alone. 
Okay, so that was an energy coming from their spirit, their soul, their higher self. And here's another. This is the Soul Journey lesson card by James Van Pra. The message is trust. So the Divine Masculine this week will be trusting. They will be accepting that their inner voice will always guide them in the correct way. Their 3D energy of their mind is symbolized here by the mountain goat. It says, fighting for love or ardent declarations may hide unfaithfulness. So I would say that the Divine Masculine may say some things this week that they possibly... It's not that they don't mean it. It's just that they might be hiding or not wanting to talk about what happened in the past. But that does not mean that they are necessarily unfaithful or untrue. But they may feel that they need to say things in order to hide whatever insecurities that they may be feeling at this time if they do communicate. So the thing is, like, we want them to communicate. I know I want my Divine Masculine to communicate. So any kind of communication at this point would be like welcome okay so um the the actual body the actual person in the 3d divine masculine wants to start fresh and they're going to have this feeling this upcoming week that they have a wonderful new beginning blossoming in their life so that is in regard to this twin flame journey in regard to their union with their beloved so if you've been feeling that there is this lack of even 5d connection with your beloved i believe this week you're going to feel that there's a fresh new start coming in with these new energies that just came in with the solstice and the new moon and cancer as far as the Divine Feminine counterpart, the Talking to Heaven 5D message, so the message from the Divine Feminine to her beloved is, I am just a thought away. So just letting the Divine Masculine know that she's always thinking about them, or he's always thinking about the beloved. The 5D Soul card, the Soul Journey lesson card, is adversity. So the if the Divine Feminine experiences any adversity this week, she's going to, or he's going to, accept that those challenges are the best way to learn. So this could even be any type of adversity perceived by interacting or not interacting with their beloved twin flame. The, um, the mind of the Divine Feminine is that of the Cobra this week. So the energy is that of change and knowing that change is inevitable but with those changes come the chance to shed a burden. So the Divine Feminine is realizing that, yes, there's been a lot of ups and downs on this journey, but through all of this heartache and pain, there have been positive changes and lots of baggage released so that when the two twins come back into reunion, union, you know, when they're able to meet up again physically or spend time together that all of those emotions and all that baggage is cleared away to make room for that start that new fresh start the divine feminine the 3d the body the person is going to be in the flow this week and that's just the universal flow letting life and letting everything unfold naturally in divine timing just trusting that the universe trusting that god trusting that the higher self of herself and her beloved or himself and his beloved they're going to be okay because they're just going to be going with that universal flow and everything on that card looks very positive allowing the universe to steer that ship okay so i i have some cards that are going to be for the union energies so i'll start with the message from the numerology deck so we have number 19 pride so this is a new deck that i um got so i'm going to look at what that means numerologically so this is for the union pride indicates a need to swallow your pride to improve your current situation and your quality of life by admitting when you're wrong and choosing to see another's point of view whether that person is right or wrong, you raise your vibration, which brings you closer to your dreams. The bottom line is this. If you want to create a happy, harmonious life, and I believe also union with your beloved, you must let go of your need to be right or in control. Okay, and then it goes on just to say that 
in order to pr improve your current situation, you're being asked to adjust to and harmonize with the natural rhythm and cycles of your life. Cycles that are encouraging you to rise above your ego. Rather than go it alone because you're too stubborn to back down, you must cooperate with others like your beloved. When you swallow your pride, you can make your dreams come true. And there's an affirmation that goes along with this. I admit my mistakes and thereby improve my quality of life. So if you have the chance to admit your mistakes this week, even energetically in 5D in a meditation, if you swallow your pride in 5D, that is going to translate to your beloved. I have these Power of Surrender cards, a new deck. Um, not sure who the author is, but I'll put it in the description box. For the union to work out, we need to surrender to divine timing. It says, sometimes divine timing may differ from what your ego finds as the timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal flow. Interesting that that card came out and the divine feminine is finally in the energy of being in that universal flow. We also have a new sacred geometry. Oh boy, sacred geometry activation. The sacred geometry is highlighting the crown chakra. So the crown chakra, that is a chakra that, um, our seventh chakra that's accessed by the divine, where divine knowledge comes from. It says the frequency of the crown chakra, the violent violet flower of life supports our spiritual connection to the universe and our ability to transmute negative energy into light so this week focus on opening up your crown chakra so that you're open to divine guidance and that you can then start transmuting any negative energies that might be around you and your beloved or between you and your union in order to bring you closer to each other we also have a spirit message so this is also a new deck by john holland that i have embrace the moment it says, embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. And that's these messages are all flowing. So swallow your pride, surrender to divine timing, open that crown chakra and trust the universal flow. Embrace the moment. If you live in the moment, you will trust that everything is unfolding exactly how it was meant to. I have an Archangel um, Gabriel message who says, let go, release the desire to control the situation and leave it up to God's infinite wisdom to resolve everything beautifully. So another message of just going with that divine flow. And Archangel Gabriel, I have this new deck as well by Doreen Virtue, Archangel Gabriel comes through and says, I'm sorry, Archangel Raphael comes through and says, stay positive. And there's um, a little... Dear Archangel Raphael, thank you for helping us be optimistic and take the appropriate action steps that support our health and our union. So that's Archangel Raphael. And lastly, we have Archangel Michael coming in with the final message. Michael is our protector, the twin flame and light worker protector with the message of self-respect. And so we're gonna end this with a prayer. Dear God and the angels, Thank you for helping us see ourselves as you see us through the eyes of love. Thank you for honoring and respecting us. Please guide us to do the same for ourselves and grant us the courage to speak up on our own behalf. We ask you for protection in all of our relationships, including the one with our beloved twin flame, so that we may be surrounded by loving and kind people always. And may you have a wonderful, beautiful week. I'm sending you Reiki healing energy to balance you and your beloved's energy so that this reading, which basically says we're coming into union soon with our beloved, may manifest.